virtual classrooms for Google Classroom users, formatted for Google banners. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. This video is rated E for everyone. Avangard teacher here. Before you build your digital classroom, you can save time if you're a Google Classroom user by building your classroom as a Google banner. You will need the free Google Classroom banner template. See below. All right, here we are at the free Google Classroom template. We're going to select a blank template and we're going to get started. For a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial building a digital classroom, see the links below. All right, let's select our background. Now, if you don't like these backgrounds, you can go to image, search for image and type in wall to floor backgrounds and select your own. Once you find the image that you would like, you can just drag and drop or you can copy and paste from the image below and make sure it goes across the white space only. Resize and adjust to make sure it's just in the white space. That's very important. Now, go ahead and complete your classroom with the furniture that's down below. There are carpets, rugs, desks, chairs, um, all sorts of things, lamps, computers that you can use to finish your classroom. And just copy, control, or command V, and then go back into your classroom and paste command V or control V. I'm going to speed this up. Hyperlinking is a wonderful tool that can be used in your digital classroom. So to hyperlink, you have to highlight the title and click on the hyperlink icon that's located on your toolbar. And then paste in the URL link that you want to hyperlink or send the students to. Once you are finished hyperlinking everything and you have your classroom completely set up exactly the way that you want it, you're now ready to download. So go to File, go to Download, go to JPEG, Current Slide, and click 
and it will download a copy of that slide that you were on the Google Classroom. You'll want to go now into classroom.google.com, pull up your Google Classroom, click on Upload, click on Select a Photo, click the photo, and there you have it. You'll want to drag it down a little bit so that it meets the bottom edge. And now your Google banner is your virtual or your digital Google Classroom. There are multiple blank templates in that free template if you need to do other content banners using your virtual classroom. For other purposes, if you need to enlarge, now all you have to do is scale up and resize your banner to be your virtual classroom for activities that you want to place in any other format in your Google Classroom. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.